Welcome to the QA Lens vlog. As promised in my post, today we are going to see how Selenium 4 has unlocked new possibility into the test automation via one of its newly introduced feature known as Network Interceptor and we are going to use it for mocking API calls. I used to use Cypress playwright puppeteer for such use cases but now in selenium also i can do it and i can use selenium for sure for this use cases as well and to demonstrate it i am going to show it via a live app created by me for this purpose it is a simple app that i am going to show and i am going to walk you through the code as well i will demonstrate the code as well so without delaying it any further let's jump into the use case first let's understand what application we want to test so i have created one application known as to do application where you can create to do items and you can mark them done for example here i can create a to do i can create a to do let's say book doctor's appointment and once I press enter it is created to do book doctor's appointment I can mark this to do done so for example I can mark this call mom done I just called my mom and this is marked as done these to do items are sorted as per the done items done items will be always shown at the bottom and non done items are shown at the top so this is how the application looks like it is a really pretty simple application just creating to do's and marking them done nothing complicated but then in such simple application why we need to mock api calls right that is a question so let's see how this to do looks like how this application behaves so i am going to go into the inspect tab of the browser and i am going to see when i refresh this application what actually happens so i can see there is a call made to this api localhost colon 3000 slash api slash to do and this api is written in response the to do's which are stored in this application what it means it means i will get to do's which are actually present in the database which are actually given by the api only and those to do's only will be available here now when you are automating end-to-end -end journey it's worth to test whether api along with ui is working fine or not but we can break this journey of to do viewing of to do into two parts as well like we can independently test api whether the api which returns all to do items is working fine or not we can use rest assured or many other frameworks for api testing and we can independently test the ui of the application whether if the api returns the to do items correctly whether those are properly rendered on ui or not and if we break the testing into the smaller parts then we are doing separate testing like we are testing the components of the ui with with just api taking out of the picture and when we are testing the api we are just testing the api taking ui out of the picture and this testing goes on to the bottom layer of a test pyramid because of which this test can be faster this test can give you faster feedback and this test will run really fast and it unlocks various possibilities as well of testing for example in real life your api may not behave appropriately and you may not be able to emulate that behavior in end-to-end -end journey but you can mock api's behavior with let's say api responding with 400 or some other way and you can check how ui behaves in those certain situations so for the sake of simplicity we have automated only just one use case or just one test case we are going to see if this ui how it renders when there are lot of to do's being returned by the api 
Now to test this actually end to end, what we will need to do is we will need to create that many to do's and then we will need to create a script for creating that many to do's and then those to do's will be rendered on the UI. But with network interceptor, we don't need to do all that. We don't need to create that data. We can just mock the API's behavior that let's say API is mocked so that it returns so many to do's, let's say 20 to do's and then we will see how the UI behaves. So without jumping into the any other conclusions, let's see whether this can be done by Selenium 4. So now I am going to show you the code which I have written. I will just run this code and I will put a breakpoint over here <coughs> and let's see when the application when the test execution reaches here how the application looks like so i am going to debug run this test into the debug mode this test is known as view all to do's we will we will go through the code uh, first let's see how this is happening what the test is doing so you can see over here i can view almost around 20 to do items on ui now what i am going to do is i am going to actually hit the application and when i see i actually hit the application there are these to do's only but when i am running automation test I can see these many to do's and that's the magic of API mocking. You can mock the API despite however the backend application behaves, you can mock the API to behave it in this way. So we have mocked the API to return it 20 to do items despite the backend application or the server has only 4 or 5, 6 to do's. And now let's see how the code is doing all of these things. So I am going to walk you through the code. First thing first, what I did is I created a driver with paste state helpers dot get web driver for application. I have written this method which just returns new Chrome driver and it just fires the page URL. So localhost 3000 was the page URL. It just fired that URL. Now, once we get the driver, what we are doing over here is we are creating items, list of to do items. So to do item, this is a POJO created for our application. If we closely observe the response structure of the API, we will see that this to do endpoint returns a certain JSON objects array and this JSON object is modeled into the class known as to do item. If you see with this JSON object we are getting ID so ID is here we are getting caption so caption is here and we are getting is done so is done is here and I have used Jackson as a tool for creating this json object so if you see so jackson is a library which you can use to transform pojo objects into the json strings actually so what we have done is over here we are having a builder pattern to do item dot builder we are giving id to each item as i is equals to 0 to 20 caption as to do item plus i and we are marking all the to do items which are having i greater than 10 as done and we are building those objects <coughs> so item array contains all the objects which are to do items so we have abstracted the api response in terms of java objects and then we are using object mapper of the jackson library which will give us these objects as a string so if you see this string this is the same api response that we are getting we have got in this string 
now the beauty of selenium feature network interceptor that we are going to see is the next line in the next line we have defined interceptor network interceptor we have provided it a driver and we are saying route dot matching request request dot get uri contains api to do so here the first argument of the matching clause or the first argument or the first parameter to the matching clause goes as the condition which will define which routes to be mocked so here we are saying if the uri contains api dot to do then we are going to mock those and we are going to mock those to matching http response we are saying the status should be 200 we are saying header should be content type application json car set utf you will see all of this in the json response that we are having over here these headers are over here content type application json in the response headers if you see application json utf 8 and we are encoding it to the zipped or deflated and we are setting content so this is the important set content utf8 string body so this string we got is string we are going to use utf8 string function to convert it into utf8 compatible string and we are setting that as a content because this content type we have set as utf8 now once we define that once the application encounters this kind of path what should it do to give it as a response this is the definition of the interceptor that we have defined and now we are calling driver.get again actually speaking here we don't need to call driver.get but this is being used in other tests as well that's why i have called it over here so we can see we are calling driver.get and we are waiting until home page loaded so here i just have defined smart wait using selenium and smart wait is we are waiting for particular locator dot to do item so this dot to do item locator is nothing but the class of this to do item so to do item each one is having dot to do item as a class so we are waiting for loading of all to do items actually speaking and once we see all to do items are loaded <coughs> what we are doing is for each item that we had in our list we are verifying whether those items are displayed properly or not and to do all of that thing i i i guess or i assume you know selenium features already like we can find element by id integer dot get id so if you see over here each to do item has an id which is having nothing but id of that to do item we are asserting whether item dot get caption or its caption is equal to the text of that particular element or not so we defined caption over here like to do item i and those captions are matching to the displayed caption or not then we are also verifying whether the to do item is striked out or not for the done to do's and how we are doing that is if item is done like where in our pojo objects or in our actual data mock data if the item was marked as done we are asserting whether the element is having class line through or not so this is a tailwind class because of which you can mark strike through on the application if you are interested into the application code i am going to publish application code as well by the way this application comes as a docker container image as well you can directly run one docker command which is i am i am going to put all of this into the readme of this github repository so if you are interested into the application code uh, you can see how this application is uh, application is developed so when the when the item is marked as done we will see this class present and when it is not done when we will see we will check whether there is no presence of this class so this is how we mock the api call so what selenium did is like when it called this page it when it encountered this api was being called via 
X XML HTTP request, it actually faked that response via this particular uh, response that we have emulated. So this is how you can do mocking of the API. It simplifies lot of testing, automation testing, and I am sure this is going to help you for automating and fastening the automation test as well. Hope you liked it. If you have any other questions on this or anything, do comment. I will try to answer as per best of my knowledge. Thanks for having a look at this and all the best for your automation journey.